Hi there and welcome to the show. Do you know that despite to contrary belief, Arsene Wenger is a funny guy and he proves it after what was the start of the Christmas fixtures that gave us some unexpected results. Chelsea were left frustrated after being held by Wigan, while Bolton and Blackburn sunk to defeat for the umpteenth time to remain rooted at the bottom with growing speculation of managerial exits at both clubs. And the weekend ended with some of the most absorbing encounters so far this season, as Arsenal did everything but put the ball in the back of the net against Man City. So as we take a peek at Arsenal's official Facebook page, I've picked up this lengthy comment from, let me see if I can pronounce his name, Ifayani Akibudu. First, he thinks that they need a good psychologist to instill some belief in the players. Then, suggest that the team needs fortification. Yes, which other team than Manchester City doesn't, my friend. And he adds that they need a coach that's mentally strong and witty. Mentally strong, huh? Maybe it was because after the defeat, Arsene Wenger came out to say that the Gunners are out of the title race. But hang on a minute. Despite being French, Wenger is witty. Let's rewind to the start of the season when they weren't doing so well. At the moment, it's too early to speak about that. Let's come back to a better distance. Then, when Arsenal were on that winning run in October and November, he said this. Look, uh, who would write off a title after nine games? Only uh, people, uh, people who do that have nothing to do in this job. And after that defeat to City, he succumbed by admitting... Well, it will be difficult to close the gap on City now, because, uh, but we will try. But uh, this is a game uh, we couldn't afford to lose. Who says Wenger doesn't provide us with comic relief? Let's just rewind a little further to the start of the season. Remember when Wenger said this? I expect nobody to leave the club. He's a funny guy and who knows what he will come up with next. And that will be it for us this year. We will allow the festive run of fixtures to take place and recap how everyone is doing when we resume Wuhan Sports Day in January 2012. Till then, thanks for your support to all our video features and we hope that you will continue to be with us. So from the team here, wishing you season's greetings, a happy 2012 and do enjoy your football.